Hello everyone, my name is Ian Williams and I'm an Applications Engineer with Precision Analog at Texas Instruments. And today we're going to discuss the TMP006 and its field of view. We're going to talk about two things. First is how to easily visualize the field of view of the TMP006 using common office objects. And the second will be how to design a cover which allows you to restrict the field of view to be more fine-tuned for your given application. So let's take a look here and see exactly what the field of view is. So this graph shows that it's about 150 degrees in total. However, most of the energy comes from directly in front of the device, so at a zero degree angle of incidence. Now what this means is, since the angle of the field of view is so large, for best results, the TMP006 should be very close to the target object. If it's not, then other objects that are inside the field of view as well which are probably not going to be at the same temperature as your target, they can cause some errors in the measurement. So in order to get a better understanding of what this looks like in an actual system, we can create an easy tool that will allow us to visualize this. And that tool is basically just a paper cone. And all you need to do to create this paper cone, which acts as your field of view, is you need to know one thing. The distance from the TMP006 itself to the target object in the end system. If you know this, you can use a couple of basic trigonometric equations to calculate two things. The radius of a circle, which will become your cone, and the angle theta that you'll need to cut out of the circle to create your cone. So for example, if we're 10 millimeters away from the target object, we can determine that the angle that we need to cut out of the cone is 12.27 degrees. So we create our circle, and its radius is 38.637 millimeters. Our angle is 12.27. We make our cuts, we tape the edges together, and our cone is created. So here's what that looks like when you're all done. Very simple. And this allows you to easily visualize the field of view. So for example, if I place it on top of the TMP006 EVM, we can get a pretty good idea of what the device can actually see from 10 millimeters away. So that's how we can easily visualize the field of view. Now, the next step is to design a metal cover that will actually let us fine tune it for a certain application. So let's talk about that. Here, we can determine in a given system what our actual field of view needs to be. And so we need to know two things. First is the radius r of the target object. And the second is the distance d from the TMP006 to the target object. And again, we just use some basic trigonometry, and we can calculate the angle theta, or what our new field of view needs to be. So in this example, if r is 5 millimeters and d is 12 millimeters, the new angle theta needs to be 22.62 degrees. Once we know that, we can easily size what is the aperture of the metal cover, assuming that we know the height of the metal cover and the height of the TMP006 already. We can again enter that number theta into our equations and determine the size of the radius r. So in this system, that radius turned out to be 0.214 millimeters, and our height of the entire metal cover was 0.889 millimeters. Two things to keep in mind about the metal cover. First, it needs to be a polished metal material. This is because polished metals have very low emissivity, meaning they're a very poor radiator of IR energy and they're not going to add any significant energy to our measurement. The second thing is that the metal cover needs to be thermally connected to the ground of the TMP006. This is in order to prevent offsets and keep your measurements nice and accurate. Okay, so now that we've designed a metal cover, let's see what they actually look like. So let's move on over here where we have a test fixture. For example, here's a metal cover with a radius of half a millimeter. Here's a metal cover with a radius of one millimeter. And here's a metal cover with a 90 degree wedge cut out of it so we can only see energy from one side. Now once we've designed these, the next step is to actually characterize their behavior and determine what effect they're having on our measurement. So we have this really nice test solution here which allows us to measure this. Basically the way this works is the TMP006 is installed on this board here in the center. And what we do is we excite the sensor of the TMP006 with this series of light bulbs that are installed at 10 degree intervals. 
and I'll demonstrate how we can turn those on. And those act as our IR source. So we turn them on and off. We allow them to excite the sensor and we take a measurement. And then what we do is we can actually rotate the entire system. For example, And this allows us to create a 360 degree thermal image of the entire system, effectively characterizing our performance with the metal cover. Now once we've taken all this data, a convenient way to visualize it is with a pie chart. For example, this allows us to see the relative amount of energy that's entering from various angles. So without any sort of metal cover, this is what our response looks like. As you can see, it's got significant amount of energy all the way out to the very far angles. If we place the metal cover with a radius of half a millimeter on top, we can see the significant reduction in energy. Most of what we're seeing is from directly in front of the sensor. If we place the larger metal cover with a one millimeter radius aperture, we get much more energy out to further angles. And then finally, if we place the cover with a 90 degree wedge cut out, we can only see significant energy in that 90 degree quadrant. So in summary, the TMP006 has a wide field of view of 150 degrees, and it's easy to visualize that field of view using our paper cone method. Also, you can design a metal cover with an aperture that allows you to restrict the field of view to a tighter angle in order to be more focused on your target object for better results in your end application. Thank you very much for watching. And for more information, please go to the following web addresses.